Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Credit Collection Moff Gideon. So this is a figure that I was not planning on getting, like ever, but they had a few of these at Ollie's just laying on the shelf for $7.99. Couldn't pass it up. And the fact that this was just laying on the shelf at Ollie's of all places, this card is perfect. There's not a bump on it anywhere. I got the price tag off nicely. So yeah, I couldn't pass it up. $7.99. It's an okay looking figure, but if anything, I got an extra dark saber now. So here we are. And of course it comes on this credit collection style card back. It looks okay. You got an okay looking picture there based on the end credit artwork. Star Wars The Mandalorian, Moff Gideon. Here's the little galactic credit accessory. It's just a hunk of plastic through the window. You can see Moff Gideon, Blaster, Dark Saber, and the Kenner logo down there. And there's the back of the card. Same picture as the front, just more of it. Pretty cool. You got the credit collection blurb that they write in five different languages. <laughs> then you have small print, warnings, barcode, and logos. All right, I'm gonna get this credit collection version of Moff Gideon open. And let's take a look at him. And real quick, before I get into the review of the figure, a fellow named Martin Ledesma commented on my Scout Trooper video, our Scout Trooper comparison video. And he was wondering how I get the figure out of the bubble and still keep the bubble in the card nice. So I thought I would show that. So what I do is I take a very sharp blade and I make a cut along here, okay? Right along the bottom of the bubble, right up against the card. Okay, I'll do that first. And then what I do is I get the blade underneath and I make you know, like a little turn. And then I cut up the side this way, okay? The bottom of the bubble on the corner, okay? So it makes like a little flap right there. You can sort of see that, okay? So I'm basically just creating a door and I do the same thing on the other side and make sure my fingers are not in the way. There we go. So now I've made a door, okay? So now I can just slide the tray out. And with these credit collection, see how this is beveled right there? So this part of the bubble right here loves to hang up in there. So you have to pull kind of hard to break this part free right there. Come on, there we go. It has to clear that right there. And then just slide that out. And then the credit collects, or uh, credit accessory, it will fall out. But yeah, that's what I do. And then once I get the figure out, I can slide the bubble right back in there. I close the door and put a little piece of scotch tape there and then stick it on the wall. And it looks like it's, you know, sort of untouched. So that's what I do. Now onto the review. Okay, so here is the Credit Collection Moff Gideon next to the original Moff Gideon, and I must say, I, I'm kind of liking the blue. I know a lot of people don't like the Credit Collection line, and I totally get it. I mean, I think some of them look kind of silly. Some of them, to me, actually look kind of cool. And again, this is not a figure that I was going to get, but for eight bucks, I mean, I could not pass it up. But the more I look at it, I'm kind of digging the blue. It is kind of cool. But it's the same figure, you know, same face. And this face does look pretty good. They had a total of probably five there. And I got my phone out and, you know, just used the camera and, and zoomed in on all the faces. And I picked the one with the best face. That's just something I do. If, if the figure has a window or a bubble, you know, where you can see the face, I always fish through and pick the best one. And this is the one I chose, and it does not look bad. The eyes, the wrinkles, the mustache, the slick back hair. It's a pretty good looking face. Now, I don't think it quite looks like uh, Giancarlo Esposito. Not quite, but it's close. It's close. We know who it's supposed to be. This is almost, almost like a plum color in, in certain light. It's almost purpley. The paint here is very nice. The yellow splotches here, you know, they look good. Up here on these shoulder bells, you've got some yellow. And on this side, you've got some red. And that is reflected in the artwork. That's, that's kind of cool there. Yeah, kind of red mixed with yellow. The pinstripe looks nice. Belt looks pretty good. Some nice lines. The silver's very clean there. You've got some more yellow kind of splattered in. Same gloves. You know, they're just gray. Yeah, 
the yellow here is kind of neat. And then just blue pants and then a pinstripe going down the outer leg. Now, the wrinkles look great on the legs and the boots and the cape. It's a plastic cape, you know, can't do much with it. If you, if you go to move the arm, it's going to pop off. You know, but that's what the back looks like. Very glossy. Yeah. You know. I think the red on the inside of the cape is nice. It's very vibrant. It really stands out, you know, against this blue. Yeah, it's not bad. But again, the fact that it just pegs in by this square peg, as soon as you move the arm back, if you want to do any kind of action pose, it's going to pop right off. Uh, but that's the cape. But overall, I mean, the figure looks pretty good for what it is. I mean, for what it's supposed to be, this whole credit collection line, you know, goofy paint jobs. I am liking the red there up against this blue with the yellow splotches. Yeah. Pretty neat figure for eight bucks. I'm, I'm kind of happy I picked it up. And I'm not really going to go into articulation too much, but he does have some very nice side to side. The arms go up. Now the elbows are pretty good. You know, they get past 90. That's great. Swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. He has an up and down hinge on the right hand, a side to side hinge on the left hand. Now for midsection, he, come on arm. There we go. For midsection, he's got some, some decent crunch some very good back and some very good side to side tilt. The legs go way out. They go back to there, which is not bad. Swivel at the thigh, single knee, swivel at the knee, and then the feet have decent range. Yeah, not bad. So the articulation is pretty good in places. You know, the elbows are great. Uh, midsection's pretty good. But I think for the most part, I'm just gonna have him stand in there holding the dark saber and just looking cool. And speaking of dark sabers, there's the one that comes with the credit collection. And I'm, I'm kind of liking this one better. The white part is a lot more vibrant compared to the original. I mean, there's, it's a lot brighter, I think, especially in certain light, it, it really shines. So that's what that looks like. The hilt is nicely detailed, all that in there. So I'm going to rotate that thing around. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, if anything, it's nice to have another one of these. Uh, but there's the Darksaber. Here, let me pop his cape back on. So just holding the Darksaber in one hand like he's getting ready to slash with it. That's what that looks like. And if he's just holding it down by his side, you know, with the blade out like that, that doesn't look bad. Or if you want to rotate the blade around this way, that's a pretty good look. And Moff Gideon can get two hands on the hilt. And I think that looks fantastic. And I like the fact that he can get both hands over his head while still holding onto the hilt. That's nice. But I will most likely just keep him in some generic pose like this. And that doesn't look bad. And this blade is also removable, which is a plus. I mean, he's got nowhere to put this on his body, but you can take the blade out. So if you want to pose him with just the hilt, yeah, you can do that. So next, let's take a look at the blaster that he comes with. It's just like the other one. And I do love the look of this little thing. It's kind of a cross between something that we would have, kind of like a Beretta or a Walther. Very similar. It's got a little scope up top. My scope is a little bit warped, uh, but it's okay. This will most likely just stay in the holster, but it is a very cool looking blaster. There's the flip side, pretty much the same thing, but yeah, I love this little thing. And there goes the cape. Okay, I'll get back to that. Um, let's, let's see how Moff Gideon holds this blaster. Okay, that drops in the right hand very well. And if you just want to have him straight out firing the weapon like that, that's a pretty good look. Here, let's put his cape back on. Because how can he be a moth without his cape? There we go. Yeah, I kind of like the look of that. And these elbows are very good, so you can get the blaster all the way up here. And there he is with the arm fully extended, just firing the weapon. And that's not a bad look. All right, let's see how the holster works. Let's drop this in there. So the scope and all goes in. See how it's kind of sculpted there for everything to fit in. The scope does not go on the outside, and that looks very nice in the holster. It's probably it's probably going to warp the scope even more. But this is probably where this is going to stay, and I do love the look of that holster. Oh, and before I forget, there's the galactic credit accessory. Uh, yeah, it's a piece of sculpted plastic with some shapes on it. Uh, that's what the flip side looks like. Yeah, <laughs> there's not much to it. I mean, this is going to go in my box of accessories of things I don't use. Um, but yeah, that's what that looks like. Okay, so I put the Darksaber in two hands, and I do love the look of that. So I'm going to go stick him on the shelf, and let's see what he looks like there. And here we are. So this is my little band of credit collection figures, and I think he looks pretty good on the shelf, especially next to the Death Trooper. But yeah, I just have the Blue Mando, Cara Dune, IG-11, 
the Death Trooper, and now Moff Gideon. But the fact that I now have an extra Darksaber, I can stick it in Din Djarin's hands, and I think that looks good. Or I could use it for Bo-Katan. I like the look of that. Or even Sabine. I mean, she looks fantastic holding it. You know, if you want to recreate the scene with her and Kanan training, I love that. But I think I'll just keep the Darksaber in Moff Gideon's hands for right now. I think he looks good there. I'm, you know, <laughs> for eight bucks, couldn't pass it up. So bottom line, I'm fine with it for what it is. And <laughs> of course the price was right. But, you know, the blue is pretty cool. The yellow splotched in here up against this plum color on the chest armor is very nice. And another difference I forgot to mention, the gloves on, on the original Moff Gideon are fingerless. These are all the same color. That's a difference. And of course, he's got more red in here where this is just all black. But I am loving the yellow splotched in. The red on the shoulder bell is pretty cool, even though you can't really see it. It's there. I'm liking the fact that this dark saber is a little brighter. That's nice. That is nice. But you know, for what it is, it's an okay figure. I'm happy with it. The price was right. I got an extra dark saber. It's, it's okay overall. And it, if you're in that camp that hates the credit collection, go for it. I, I don't have a problem with anybody hating on these things. It's yeah, I get it. I get the ones that I like or if they're super cheap, it's cool. But I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of the credit collection Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it and I just thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time.